I just went to a gathering of like family, friends, and actually, I and there was a bunch of people that I didn't know. There obviously like long lot a bunch of like different friends that I don't remember from my early childhood and a bunch of family that I also don't remember from early childhood, you know, like aunts and uncles saying, oh yeah, I remember you. And I, you just saying, oh, who the fuck are you? You know, and I, I was thinking about last year and how I would have never been able to actually start and or hold a conversation with these kinds of people. I would have never been able to walk up to random people and say, you know, start, start a conversation, like, where are you from? And things like that. And actually, you know, making them laugh and starting meaningful conversations and actual conversations that aren't incredibly blunt and bland and just like, and completely, you know, asking them a shit ton of questions and just waiting for their answers, you know? No, they were actually like meaningful and good conversations. And I think that a lot of this ability for me to speak obviously comes from speaking to a camera, but it mostly comes from not giving a shit because I would have never walked up to those kinds of people if I didn't recognize the idea that it doesn't really matter what these people think. I'm going to walk away from this and none of them will probably remember me and so they'll probably not really like, you know, go to sleep thinking of my name. And pr in fact, they probably won't even remember my name. So why don't I just walk up to these random people, literally cold approach them and try and start conversations. And that's exactly what I did. I think that I started conversations with like three people and it was pretty fun. And as long as you really own what you're saying and then as long as you're really confident, you can't really screw up. You know, you can say some fucked up shit, sure. And they can despise you for it. But then you can say, okay, bitch, and then just walk away. And that's a huge power that you can hold over other people. And when I walk up to more and more people and as i cold approach more and more people it kind of becomes addiction addicting because i keep looking back at my past self and i'm like damn i would have never been able to do this i would have never been able to start hold do anything inside of a conversation i would have never been able to talk to a single person i would have never been able to hold eye contact i would have ne never been able to do any of these things and me walking up to these people it just truly shows my progress because last year i used to be a I used to have an incredibly high pitched voice and I genuinely don't think that it was because I actually had a naturally high pitched voice. I think I was doing it to cope with all of the stress that was on me and how anxious I was, how depressed I was. So for some reason, I naturally just went into a submissive position. And with that, I, I heightened my voice intentionally. Whenever I, sorry, my voice is extremely shaky in this video. I took way too much caffeine today. Basically, I only take caffeine once a week because I found that I focus like way more and you know, the benefits of quitting caffeine are incredible. I only take it once a week and that is on chest day. And my tolerance is extremely, extremely low. So when I take like 200 milligrams, I just go absolutely bonkers. It's literally like, it's literally like 7 p.m. right now and I am, I could jump off walls right now. I'm literally shaking like out of my skin right now. And, but I'm incredibly focused. So that's a good thing. I'm probably going to end up recording like five videos today. So that's a good, um, so what I mean by the title of this video is essentially that having, having the power of not giving a shit is a power that you hold over so many people. And it's not only about holding it over other people, right? This isn't all only about competition with other people. It's also a competition with yourself and a competition with your past self. When I look at my past self and I think about my past self not being able to do anything, always like having a hunchback, always covering the front of my body as if there was something to be productive, pr protected. When I look back at that person and I look back on to me now, I feel so motivated and I feel so driven because I understand how much progress that I've actually made and my entire journey of finally getting out of my social anxiety rut. And I don't want you to think of this as I'm not going to give you any methods in this video. I'm not going to give you any like, Oh, yep. Here's how to quit your social anxiety. I have plenty of videos on my channel on how to do that. What I am telling you is that you need to get rid of this and you need to get rid of it now. Now there's going to be many people in the comment section saying, don't get rid of it. It's completely fine. It's completely normal to be socially anxious and everybody gets socially anxious, right? Yeah, no fucking shit, bitch. 
It's about you being able to actually push through that social anxiety and being ac actually able to do those difficult conversations that you've always wanted to do with maybe that higher person with, well, higher, you know, echelons of society person with that one girl that you've always wanted to ask out. And it's truly a power. It is a power to not have social anxiety or at least have the courage to push through that social anxiety and be able to talk to other people. It's, it's literally a superpower to not have it because guess what? You can talk to that random rich guy across the street and you can network with him and you can start a meaningful conversation with him and extract loads of information and value from him. You can see an attractive girl on the street and walk up to her without thinking twice. You can literally see how this is a superpower. And think about it. You know, I have a crazy story and I can't believe that I still remember it to this day. And I was thinking about this just yesterday and I was like, damn, that's super thought provoking. My brother said, my brother is like older. He's about two to three years older than me. And back when I was a little kid, like in ninth grade or so, he was graduating. And at the end of senior year, he said, you know, Luke, Oh my gosh, bro, my heart's beating so fast, dude. This caffeine is crazy. You know what? I I I got to take like 100 milligrams once every week, bro. I'm going to be staying up all night. My circadian rhythm is going to be absolutely dog fucked. But <sighs> take a deep breath with me. I need one. What my brother said to me was that if I didn't care about what other people thought, if I didn't have any social anxiety, and if I genuinely didn't give a shit, I would probably be making lots of money online right now. And I was like, damn, damn. Think about all the things, all the ways that many people have put you behind in life, all the expectations that other people put on you, all the expectations that you make up in your mind of other people having on you. Think about all of this and think about how if you actually didn't give a shit, all the opportunities that would show up in your day-to-day -day life, it's absolutely incredible. And it's incredibly thought-provoking when you actually think about it. So I really want you to reflect on that thought. I really want you to reflect on what my brother said to me because it really changed my outlook on life and it really changed how I actually thought about how necessary it is to get over social anxiety. And guess what? Like three, four years later, I'm over it. And I know that you can too. You can get over it just as I have. If you like this video on my channel, it is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And holy shit, bro. Literally, bro, I can I can run through a wall right now, bro. I'm going to punch something or somebody like right after finishing this video. If you like this video on my channel, it is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him. And if you like that message, then do subscribe because I'll see you in the next video. Peace.